Hello, hello, good evening, class. Hello. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Elni. Hello. Okay, we're going to start, ladies. We're going to have a warming up activity just before starting. No me da para lo Hello guys, welcome. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Katia. Beatriz. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, Aide. Let me see. Brian. Hello, Brian. Jacqueline, good evening. Victor, good evening. Let me see who is it here. Okay. No, it okay. So we're going to start, guys, with a game related to our previous topic. Vamos a empezar, chicos, con una actividad um, relacionada al tema que veíamos anteriormente. Bueno, que veíamos el uso de Dries y Drag con algunos quantifiers. So we're going to check that. Hello, good evening. Okay, so, see, so try to give me the correct answer for the following exercise. So what is the correct answer? Um, sería B. B. Okay, so let's see. Good. So this is a, we're going to have a sex round. So let's see, B, uh, there are. Okay. 
question three. Are we ready for question two? What is it about these guys, which is the correct answer? B. A or B? Uh huh. B. A, says Brian. So, which is the correct answer, A or B, guys? B. B, a computer. So, you have to complete these exercises. A computer. It was A, the computer. So, it was singular. Okay, yeah. and yeah, you have to look at the pictures. Question three, be ready for this one, get ready. Easy, easy, what do you think? Letter B. Mm -hmm. Here. So look at the how many chairs are there. ¿Cuántas sillas hay? How many chairs are there? There is one or there are uh, more? ¿Cuántas? Una. Más. The correct answer is there is only one. Try and get. Okay, guys, so please select one card from one to five. Give me a number. <laughs> okay, select one card. Five. Five. Points. Okay, which is the correct? Yes. Welcome, Anna. Hello. Letter B. 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 You sure? A. Por cierto, cross. A red table. Una flor con un montón de mariposas. Una mesa roja. There is. So remember that you're going to be using that is for singular forms, right? With singular nouns. That's about singulares. So you have to complete the sentence. So you have to complete the oración que aparece ahí en la pantalla. So let's see. Uh, five, two beds. So you have to complete acá esta oración, two beds. So there is or there are? B. B, right? Uh-huh. Three. Yes, that's right. That's B. There are. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Question number six. Literal B. 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 Okay. There are four clouds. Hey, select a car, guys. Number three. Number three. Okay. Okay. So we didn't find the speed one. No encontramos la velocidad. 
Okay, on the next round, we have another one. So tell me what is the correct one? Hey, 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 okay. Hey, yeah, that's correct. There you have an easy one. B. B. A. B. There are three rabbits. So we're going to be checking that. Okay. Recuerden, va a utilizar there is con sustantivos singulares y the opposite. Oh, there are with plural forms. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Two crayons. There is or there are. Sería entonces B. Ajá, B. Okay. And the last one, so we just have one more. Okay, excellent, Brian. Okay, so that's your last chance. Select one bonus round card. Number one. Number one. Okay, so let's check. Let's open that. 100 points. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. And the last one. How about the last one? Yes, guys, what do you think? What is the correct answer? A or B? It B. B. Okay, so let me see. B. Actually, that was B. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So just let me open something else. Giselle, ah, salud. So right now we're gonna be working in groups. So you can see, you know, what is, remember this? So you're gonna be on some questions. Let's try a preguntas. So that will be up to you. Uh, that will depend right based on the picture that you've seen. Okay. Entonces, ahí van, van a ir viendo unas imágenes. And you have to decide which one is the correct answer. Okay. Vamos a ver equipos. Uh, Ana, Nelson, Astrid, Beatrice, and Brian, team one. Okay. Team one. Carlos, Carmen. Elni, Glenda, Aide, let me see who else, uh, Nelson, and Sofia, team uh, B, okay, equipo do. Vanessa and Jacqueline, team one, okay. So let's see, let's start. Uh, team one, please select one number. Elija un número, equipo uno, select one number. Two. Number seven. 
Seven. Okay, seven. Let me see. Team one. How many cats are there? How many cats are there? ¿Cuánto gato hay ahí? ¿Cuánto gato hay ahí? Recuerden la pregunta. How many? How many cats are there? Team one. Equipo uno. Ten. 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 Number, Number six. Six, okay. Are there three rats? No, no. <laughs> no. no there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay. No there, aren't. No. no, there is one rat, so it's another possibility. Okay, let's see. Uh T1, go ahead. Vamos a equipo uno. Nice. Nine, okay, nine. How many books are there? There are six. Okay, books. there are six books. Six. Okay, excellent. How about team two? Select a number. Vamos a equipos. Please, I need your answers. Eighteen. Mm, which one? Repeat it, please. Number? Can you say number eight? Eight? Oh, Thirteen. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, eleven. So double the points. Oh, excellent, guys. Pican los puntos, equipo dos, team one, go ahead. Equipo one, uh, team one, please. A ver, equipo uno, so what do you think, equipo uno? Number one. Number one. Okay, so are there for a Dormans... I don't know, maybe it's a cartoon. Dora, Dharma. Six down. Uh huh. So, are there four yeah. Dharmas? Uh, I think they're talking about the, 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 the character. <laughs> the cartoon. Yes or no? Look at the no, there. Uh huh. No. There are eight. No. Uh, I don't know. I, I have seen the sticker, but I don't know what I, what I said. <laughs> yeah, we saw the sticker, but no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Team uh, two, select a number. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. How many dogs are there, by the way? There is one dog. There is one. There is one. In one, go ahead, double your points. In one. Number? Four. Four, okay. Four. How many ice creams are there? ¿Cuántos sorbetes hay ahí? How many ice creams are there? Five. Five ice creams. Okay. Team B or two? Five. Five. Okay. Let's see. Five. Swap points. Intercambio de puntos. Veamos. Okay. Bien. Le quitamos allá puntos al equipo uno. I think so. Okay, team one, please select your um, number. 
Number three. Number three. three. Okay. Okay. How many dogs are there? There are two dogs. There are two dogs. Okay. Excellent. Team two. Ten. Ten. Fourteen. Ten. Okay. Let's see. Is there one boat? Yes, there is, right? Yes, there is. Okay, um, team one. Number two. Two, okay. How many bananas are there? No, uh, how many? How many bananas are there? How many? Quantas? Recuerden, how many significa quantas? Are there... ¿Cuántas hay? There is one banana. Una. There is one banana. There is one banana. How about you, team two? Number Fourteen. two. Fourteen, okay. Are there five pens? Yes or no? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Yes, five pens. Yes, there. Ah, yes. There are. Okay. Yes, in one. Six. Like your number in one. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Twelve. Go to first place. Vaya en el primer lugar, equipo uno. Okay. Uh, let's see. Team two. Select your number. Team one. You can do it. Team. Two. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Let's see. Quince, fifteen. Okay, fifteen. She says. Are there seven frogs? Yes. No. Maybe possible. No. Um, no, there is one, uh, right? Is one. Uh, there is one. There is one. Okay, team one, your last chance. You decide 13 or 8. 8. 8. Okay. How many streets are there? There are three. Three. Uh -huh. There are three streets. Uh, three. Ok, team two. Let's see. We are the champion. ¿Qué les pasó ahí? Ok, other team loses. Five. Cinco puntos. It's a tie. It's a tie. Es un empate. Ok. Ok. Oh. No pensé que iba a ganar el equipo uno. Ya va. Se tira. Okay, good. So let's let's continue. So we're gonna have a speaking practice right now related to our previous topic. So just let me open that. Okay, so here we have it. So we're gonna have uh here some speaking cards and we're gonna be discussing this. De acá, de algunos temas que tenemos por acá. So there is and there are speaking cars, your city, your room, your fridge, your spring back. So these are some basic questions. Nos empezamos con algunas preguntas um, relacionadas a cosas que tenemos eh, cerca. For example, your city. Is there a football stadium in your city? Are there five cinemas? Is there a big park in your city? So what do you think? Yes, no, maybe. Your room. Is there a TV in your room? Todos están viendo ya las speaking cards. ¿Se alcanza a ver? Me dicen si lo hago más grande. Se mira. Se mira. Okay, so where is... Sí, Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, so your room. Is there a TV in your room? Are there three toys on your bed? Is there a lamp on your desk? So let's start with this one. Guys, is there, uh, let's say, a football stadium in your city? Guys, yes or no? ¿Hay algún estadio de fútbol? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Yes, there is. Are there five cinemas in your city? Yes. No. No. There is one. There is one. Okay. Uh, is there a big park in your city or no? Yes. yes there is. Oh, okay. So what is its name? What is the name? What is its name? The name of the park. Yeah. What is the name? I don't know to tell. You don't know the name of the part, but it's big, right? But a grand. Okay. okay. My city is uh -huh. Third City. Third City. Oh. Uh -huh. That's an amusement park. Amusement park. Parque de diversiones. Okay, yeah, that could be. Uh -huh. Third City. Could be. Vamos a avisarle cuando vayamos por ahí. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So that was. Invitan. Ya ven, Astrid ahí vive en el surf, cerca del Surf City, chicos. Así que alístense. Vamos a ver. Uh, your room. So let's, let's investigate a little bit about your room, guys. Is there a TV in your room? room. Is there any TV in your room? Yes. No. 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 I don't know. So maybe you can get one because it's November. You get some uh, Black Friday offers. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I can no, no. A ver si es cierto. Okay. So are there toys in on your bed? Are there three toys on your bed, or maybe one or two or a lot of toys? Are there toys on your bed? How many? Yes. How many? How many? Quantos? How many toys? Quantos beds are there? Quantos hay en su cuarto, su habitación, en su cama? How many toys are there? Pues tienen on como unos 20 juguetes en la habitación. Wow. And all of them are yours? Todos ellos son suyos? Um, la mitad. La mitad. <laughs> okay. It's good. <laughs> I just <laughs> Brian tiene uno. Brian says he has one. No, Beatriz. Toys. Toys. Uh -huh. Juguetes. ¿Cuántos? Uh -huh. Ah, oh, you have how many? Collection. Collection de juguetes. También hay sus fotos de, de su colección de juguetes que tiene. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, do you have a lamp on your desk? Is there a lamp on your desk or in your bedroom? No. 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 You're not afraid of dark. No. <laughs> okay, let's see. Look at this. We have another question. Your fridge. Vamos a investigar un poquito que hay ahí en la so, guys, tell me, are there two bottles of milk in your fridge? Do you know? Yeah, no? Yes. Huh? Yes, one, one milk, one milk. Okay, let's see. Uh, how about this one? Are there 10 eggs? Eggs are there? Yes. Okay. How about tomatoes? See tomatoes. Are there tomatoes in your fridge? There are eight tomatoes. Uh huh. There are eight tomatoes. Okay. Okay. How about? Let me see. Is there any cake or any in your fridge? Pastel? I don't know, maybe something like that. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, don't know. how about, let me see. Okay, soda. there any soda in your fridge? Soda, Coca-Cola, I don't know, maybe something like that. I don't know. Yes, Coca-Cola. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I love soda, but, but. 
Yeah, but I love, I like it a lot. Okay, so your school bag. Uh, let's see. Uh, are there five candies in your backpack or in your bag? So, are there some candies or candies in your bag? Candies? Are there candies in your bag or backpack? There is one. There is one. Okay. There is one. And the rest, demás? Candies? Are there candies in your school bag? Uh, well, in your bag or your. <laughs> yes, no. Candies? No candies. No candies? No, no. Okay. No candies. And how about a bottle of water? Hold on. How about a bottle of water? Is there a, a bottle of water? A bottle with water. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's important, right? So you have to drink a lot of water nowadays. And we have some more questions. So I need you to discuss that questions with your classmates. So I'm gonna send you this, okay? But you select at least uh, five cards that you want to discuss with your classmates, okay? Entonces, le voy a mandar a todas esas. You take a picture, tomar una foto, y ustedes van a seleccionar cinco, okay? So we're going to discuss uh, two more. Nosotros discutimos dos más. Let's see. Um, so we have another one. This is, um, let me see. We're going to select the topic. Uh, okay. Maybe this one, your country. Um, I'm gonna skip that question. Mm, but well, maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you. So that would be better. Is there the president in your country? Is there a president in your country? Your country, this one. We're discussing this one. Is there any president or a president in your country? No, there isn't. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I expected that. Okay, uh, let's see. Question two: Are, are Our country? Excuse me. Uh huh. Excuse me. Country? Um, it is same país. Yeah, okay, país. Yeah, that's país. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. what I expected that answer. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Okay. Out. Yes, okay. there is. Yes, okay. there is. Okay, so how about question two? Are there big mountains? Are there big mountains? Yes, there are. Okay. So can you mention some examples? So what are some big mountains that we have in El Salvador? Um, Monte Cristo. Okay. I have never been. Uh, in Chalatenango, uh, its name is... I don't remember. I don't remember another one. El Pital could be Las one. Pilas. Las Pilas, El Pital. Okay. Las Pilas, El Pital. There's one called um, Cerro United. Verde. Cerro Verde. Ah, okay, Cerro Verde. And somebody mentioned one um, a few days ago. It was called La Montañona, but I don't know. I forgot the name. Okay, so let's see. Is there much snow in winter <laughs> here in El Salvador? <laughs> no. No, right? No, there isn't, right? We don't have no. snow here in El Salvador. No. Okay. Um, let's see. How about your house? Are there three rooms in your house? Yes, no. How many? Hay tres habitaciones en su casa. Are there three rooms in your house? Yes, in my house. Ajá, uh -huh, in your there house. There are three, three uh, in there the are, house. Okay, in my house, okay. Um, are there many flowers in it? Do you have flowers? Do you like flowers? Are there many flowers in it? Yes, yes. no? Yes, there are flowers in it. Oh, okay, there are flowers. So what is your favorite flower? ¿Cuál es su favorita? So what is your favorite? Um, 
las rosas. Okay. Okay. So is there a yard in your house? Is there a yard? Hay pat patio? Or no, or just a house? Yes. With a, without a yard. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Listen. So right now we're going to have a discussion. You're going to be working in groups. So please take a screenshot and remember you have to discuss uh, some of these questions. I'm gonna send you some others, okay? But right now, take a picture, okay? Take a picture. So let me know when you're done. Me dicen cuando ya les hayan tomado foto, ahí está. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we have the last uh, six, okay? So there you have it. Okay, so here we go. So please start discussing these questions with your classmates. Remember, you're going to be using yes, there is, no, there aren't, and add uh, some more follow up questions. Entonces, ustedes pueden agregar más preguntas, okay? So that's, uh, that's um, possible. So let's go. Let's join the breakout rooms. Okay. Avisan quién se quedó sin invitación para enviar la invitación nuevamente. Ah, pero preguntémosle. Hello, hello. Teacher, son cinco preguntas o cinco cuadritos los que hay que agarrar. Ah, elijan cinco cuadritos de los que ustedes quieran discutir. Ah, okay. Okay. Y esos son los que vamos a responder, ¿verdad? Sí. Pueden agregar más preguntas eh, que ustedes quieran hacer relacionadas al tema. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Uh, vamos a, a ver. ¿Cuál proponen, compañera? ¿Les parece ese...? Your mobile phone. Phone. ¿Cuál es? Your mobile phone. Are there photos in your mobile phone? ¿Qué número es, compañero? Híjole. Okay. Ahí lo mandé la captura. Acá en el chat. 
Sí, este, no, pero ¿cuál tema es el que él está diciendo? Porque está your desk, your classroom, classroom your house, your, your phone, mobile phone. phone. Your mobile phone. Yo lo encontré. Yo lo encontré. Your mobile your phone. Your country. Your classroom. Entonces, your mobile phone sería uno. Sí, respondamos sí. eso si quieren. Ok. Are there photos in your mobile phone? Mobile, mobile, mobile. Mobile, mobile. Mobile, ajá, el teléfono mobile. móvil. No tengo ni mobile. idea cuántas hablan. <ríe> Me digo, ajá, de. ¿Cómo se dice el teacher? Ahorita se les pongo para que han contado, eh. <ríe> Mobile. 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 Con Sheila somos seis. Voy a crear un grupito más. No. Pues sí, sí, ustedes sí. Pues sí, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? De la primera. Dice cuántas fotos, ¿verdad? En tu... Uh -huh. ah, es que yo, yo sinceramente no tengo ni idea cuántas han. No, pero es de, más que todo saber cómo responder, de poner ah, un número. Es, ajá, sería eh, de, de R, eh, eh, ten, ten fotos, digamos. O sea, 10 fotos, hay solo para responderla, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dice, uh, is there a, a camera o cámara? No sé. Ajá, ¿cuántas yeah. cámaras? Creo que la pregunta Ajá. es: ¿hay fotos en tu teléfono? Ajá, la pregunta sería: ¿cómo si tienes fotos en, su, en tu teléfono? Para re responder, si sí tenemos que poner. Yes, they are, ¿verdad? Que sí hay. Ahí. Yes, they are. O they are. There are. There are. Photos in my, in my phone. Sí, o there are 10 fotos. Sí, tengo 10 fotos. Sí, tengo. Sí, se puede. Y, is there a Pero, camera? Vamos a dejar porque la debemos de tener todos igual. Yo siento que ahorita esta del teléfono está fácil para responderla, ¿verdad? Estas otras hay que buscar porque si hay alguna palabra que no sabemos qué que, que significa, por ejemplo, ahí donde dice your classroom. Is there a smart board in your classroom? ¿Qué será el smart board? ¿Cuál es esa, Astrid? 
siempre la que está junto a, a esta de your mobile phone el cuadrito celeste uh, you, your classroom ajá Vaya, es que la verdad que hemos comenzado mal porque no hemos seleccionado cuáles cuál cinco cuadritos son los que vamos a, a discutir para tener claro Ajá. primero que es eso. Tendría, digamos que va a ser esta de Your Mobile Phone. La que está a la par, Your Classrooms. Ajá. No nos compliquemos, la otra Your House. Classroom. Van tres. Yurdes. Yur City. La primera va. Uh -huh. Yurdes y Yur City. Pueden mandar la captura de. Ah, no, sí, ahí está. Ahí aparece Yurdes. Yur City. Vaya, nos pasamos a Your Classroom. ¿Ya contestaron las tres de Mobile Phone? Pues no nos Eso yo siento que está, que está, por ejemplo, que diga, si tiene dos SIM cards, dice no, pero ¿cómo se responde? Este, eh, not, not, eh, eh, they is not two SIM cards. O sea, que no, no, no tiene dos sin card. Ajá, no, there are one sin card. O, o two. Entonces sería, entonces sería, eh, there is one sin card. Que solo tiene una sin card. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces sería, no, there is one sin card. Sin card. Uh -huh. Contestan primero un no, no. Ajá. Exacto. Y la otra, este, is there a, a, a camera? Sería, there is, there is cámara, ¿verdad? Que sí tiene una cámara. Sí, there is. Bueno, there bueno, is. Okay, ahora tienen un montón. Your classroom significa este, tu clase. Ah, sí. clase. Eh, quiero ver qué era lo que yo decía que, que no sabía. Eh, Smart board, ¿qué significa? Eh, ¿Cuál fue, cuál fue, cuál fue? Este, yo creo que es este, la pizarra. Una placa inteligente, pizarra inteligente. Sí, este, la, la pizarra acrílica o, o este, ay, busquémoslo. Una pizarra inteligente. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, eh, ¿tienen una pizarra inteligente en, en tu clase? ¿En your class? No, eh, no, not, not, not. Not. There is. Uh, there is a smart board. Hello, hello, uh, Vidal, hello, Héctor.
Yes, there are. Three windows. Three windows. ¿Qué es Dax? Escritorio. Sí, escritorio. Are there uh, the, uh, tended? Not, ¿verdad? Not, no hay 10 eh, escritorios. Solo hay uno o dos. Mm -hmm. Not. No, there is one desk. Ajá, uh -huh. there is, there is one desk. La otra era... Your desk. Your ha, uh, ah, bueno. Your desk. Tu escritorio. Yes. Uh, are there uh, ten pencil, pen, pencil or your escritorio? Si hay diez lápices en tu escritorio. Eso sí puede haber diez. Si es lápices, ¿verdad? Bueno. Yes. There, uh -huh, there, there are. There are uh, diez pens and en your escrito, your, your desk. ¿Cómo dijo? Yes, there are ten pencils. Es que ahí no oigo. Le voy a dar volumen. <risa> <risa> Al cien. <risa> yes, there are. Is there an array? Is there an array? Yes, there is an array. Si sí, hay un borrador, ¿verdad? Yes. Solo tres hicimos, ¿verdad? Y ya nos están llamando. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo vamos a contestar en eso? Uh, yes, there is one uh, an array. Sí, sí hay un borrador. Are, are there is, uh, five rulers on it? Que si sí, sí hay cinco... No hay cinco reglas. ¿Ah? No, no hay cinco reglas. Solo una. Ajá. Not, there is. Acuérdense que se contesta no o sí y de ahí depende. El número se contesta there are y si es uno, there is. A ver, sí, ¿cómo? Ok. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. No teacher. Okay, so we're going to continue with the uh, exercise. I'm going to ask some just uh, some questions, okay?
No se escucha. Eso es acá. Yo creo que no han preguntado. Ya, yeah, I'm just opening the um, PDF. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to select some of the questions that you have practiced. Okay, just some of them. So vamos a hacer algunas preguntas, solo de algunos um, cuadritos que ustedes discutieron. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to select some uh, volunteers. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> okay. Anna, tell me, Anna, um, are there photos in your mobile phone? Mobile phone? Mobile phone, yes. Uh, are there uh, photos in your mobile phone? Uh, yes, there are. Um, photos in my mobile phone. Okay. How many? Quantas? How many? <laughs> one hundred. One hundred. Okay, one hundred. Listen. Listen to this. Okay. Is there a um, camera? Uh, yes, there is a um, five camera. Five. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, there are uh, uh, two SIM cards. Uh, yes, they are two SIM cards. Uh -huh. Yes, there, 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 there. D-E-R, there, there are, there are, there are. Uh -huh. Because it sounds like they, no? Ahí, cuidado ahí con el they, ¿verdad? De ellos. This is there. There, 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 yeah, that's there, there. Mobile. Ahora, le voy a poner la pronunciación ahí como se dice, en móvil. Mobile. Mobile, so that's mobile. 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 Para que lo tengan ustedes en el, el teléfono. Okay. Ahí solo abren el enlace y se lo va, y les va a lanzar ahí la pronunciación. Ok. Ahí está. Ok, so let's see. Uh, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Question, Vanessa. Hello. Vanessa, uh, the question is about your wardrobe. Sobre su ropero, your wardrobe. Are there five dresses in your wardrobe? I don't know, solo tengo uno. So, no, there aren't. Entonces sería, no, there no, aren't. I don't know, there are. Ajá, no, there aren't, there is one. Entonces, podría ser su respuesta. O sea, hay cinco vestidos en su ropero. No, there aren't. Ok. There is only one. Hay solo uno. There is only one. Okay, Vanessa, so we repeat the question. Are there five dresses in your wardro wardrobe? Mm. I know. No, mm. there are any? Here, I no, there are any. No, there are Okay, so let's see. There is only one there is only one okay thanks there is, only one. Mm -hmm. there is only one there is there is there is there is, there uh -huh. is only one 
Excellent. Okay, so we have there are and there is. There are, there is, there are, there is. There is, recuerden que singular, ubica un sustantivo singular, there are, sustantivo plural. Okay, let me see. Jacqueline, you hear Jacqueline? Jacqueline, Jacqueline. <laughs> She's a listener. Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Nelson, question. Hello. Hi, Nelson. Are there 10 pencils on your desk? Yes, there are 10 pencils in your desk. Okay. Yes, there are 10 pencils on my desk. On my desk. On my desk. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there an eraser? Yes, there is. Okay. Um, are there five rollers on it? No, there is one ruler. Oh, okay. Let me see. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Astrid. Question, Astrid. Yes. Astrid, uh, about your classroom. Is there a smart board in your classroom or in your office? No, there are not. There are no? No. There are no smart boards. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, there isn't. The answer was no, there isn't. Okay. Because it's singular. Porque singular. Hay una, ¿qué? Una pizarra inteligente en tu salón de clases? No, there isn't. No, no hay ningún. No hay, ¿verdad? Refiriéndonos a una, la misma que nos hicieron la pregunta acá, solo por una. Si acá fuera plural, sí. No, there aren't. Okay, are there three windows in your classroom, Sophie, or in your office? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay, are there ten uh, desks? Um, yes, there are ten desks. There are ten or more, or más, I think. Okay, let me see, uh, Carlos. Carlos, hello. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hello. Okay, uh, Carlos, your house, are there three rooms in your house? Yes, there are. Okay, only My house, three. Uh, I have there, there are three. There are three. Bedrooms. Okay, so three. are there some, let me see, plants? In it, are there some plants or many flowers? Uh, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. Okay, is there a jar? I like the flower, but but I don't. Um, yes. You don't. Why? Why? Why don't you have plants or flowers? Don't you have um, to, to water your plants? In, in my yard, uh, I don't have earth. Oh, okay, got it. But you can buy Only some concrete. pots. Pero si puede comprar unas macetas, you can buy some pots. Ah, oh. yes. <laughs> so not excuses, Carlos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. So, uh, celebrar, los demás celebraron. Vamos a seguir. <laughs> Okay, vamos a seguir entonces. Uh, so we yeah, have a very yeah. nice topic for today, and this is about adjectives. So we're going to be learning how to use adjectives. Okay, entonces vamos a avanzar un poquito más con el uso de los adjectives. And tomorrow we're going to be studying um, prepositions of movement and location. Oh, what's up? Let me see. No, what's, what happened? Okay, so here we have it. Participants will be able to express where their workplace uh, are located and how to get them by. Okay, so that was not the correct. So it's about describing. It's about describing your workplace. Let me see. We're going to skip that part. Yeah. Okay. And here we have some uh, conversations uh, between. Lucy and Bob, okay? So, hi, Bob, how's it going? Fine, thanks, and you? Just fine. Me dicen si ya se ve la pantalla, las conversaciones. Todavía no. Creo que no se veía. Sí se veía. Sí se ve. 
Ah, yes. Sí, se ve, dice. Ok. Ok. Let's see. Um, hi, Bob. How's it going? Look, look at this. Fine. Thanks and you. Just fine. What are you off to? So we're going to be learning some new vocabulary today. So what are you off to? So cuando decimos, what are you off to? Estamos diciendo, ¿a dónde vas? What are you off to? Entonces, ese off to significa, ¿a dónde vas? Uh, to the library. Eh? A la biblioteca. I have to finish the assignment for tomorrow's class. Tiene que terminar la tarea para la clase de mañana. De mañana. Why don't you do it at home? ¿Por qué no lo haces en casa? I have a part-time job. Tengo un part-time job in the evening. Tiene un trabajo de qué? De medio tiempo. De medio tiempo en la noche. So when I get home, I'll be too tired to do the an assignment. Entonces cuando llegue a casa va a estar muy cansado. Va a hacer su tarea. Where do you work? I work in a cafe. Trabajo en un café. I work in a cafe. Why do you like that job? Why do you like that job? Job. It's interesting. ¿Qué te gusta tu trabajo? Es interesante. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. Entonces, ¿Por qué le gusta su trabajo, chicos? Porque conoce más gente. Ajá. Y tiene dinero extra. Tiene dinero extra. Ok. How is the pay? How is the pay? ¿A qué se refiere esto? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es tu pago? Ajá, ¿cómo es el pago? ¿Cómo es el pago? Ajá, the pay is all right. El pago, bueno. I get seven euros. Seven euros. ¿Cuánto le pagan por la hora? Siete euros. euros. Ajá, la hora. seven euros. Ok, so let's write that on the word. Seven euros. Euros, listen, euros, euros. An hour. I would like to earn more. I would like to earn more. ¿Qué significa would? I would. Me gustaría, right? Me gustaría. I would like to earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. Okay, me gustaría earn. What is to earn? Ganar. Ganar, ok. Le gustaría ganar, pero de cantidad, de su salario. As I need uh, a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. ¿Qué es lo que necesita comprar? Una nueva laptop. Y un teléfono. Ok. And how will you do that? ¿Y cómo harás eso? How will you do that? Listen. How will you do that? How would you do that. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo harás eso? ¿Cómo harías eso? How you do that? Uh, I'll try to pick up as many as extra shifts as I can. Voy a tratar de tomar tantos que extra shifts. ¿Qué opinan? Horas extras. Ahora es extra. Ok. Tiempo Turnos extra. Sería turnos extra. As I can. Entonces, uh, I'll try to pick as many, as many extra shifts as I can. Ok. Ok. Uh, nada más una observación aquí con este quien. Eh, ya sabemos nosotros que se pronuncia. Ok, lo, voy a poner lo de los extra shifts aquí. Extra shifts. Ok. Turnos extra. Turnos extra. Y el quien, ¿por qué el quien? Ya sabemos que se pronuncia quien o can. Eh, algunos dicen, lo pronuncian de diferente forma. Pero. También se da la situación de que cuando alguien está hablando, y depende de dónde sea, hay personas que solamente van a hacer el sonido, van a, o sea, a escuchar el sonido de la N, incluso ni van a notar si, si está el quien ahí. Entonces, a veces dicen N, N. Entonces, pero eso ya es parte, digamos, de, de la forma como hablan en algunas zonas. 
Entonces, ahí mucho ojo con ese quién. Entonces, porque muy probablemente se lo escuchan. Nada más eso. What about your studies? Igual, bueno, ¿por qué les menciono eso? Porque, por ejemplo, a veces los object pronouns, ok, cuando me refiero a un object pronoun, me refiero a una palabra, un, a un pronombre derivado de los pronombres sujeto. ¿no? Entonces, el pronombre y sujeto es, es ese, ¿verdad? que acabo de poner ahí, y el pronombre objeto es him. Entonces, ya sabemos que el sujeto hace y el objeto recibe. La acción del verbo, entonces, he, um, he loves pupusas. Uh, okay. Entonces, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Sabemos que es he, ¿verdad? Ahora, si yo digo, he loves, he loves them. El pronombre objeto para they es them. No sé si esto ya lo habían visto anteriormente. Eso es de los pronombres objetos. No. Vale. Pero uh, nada más la aclaración. Pronombre sujeto, pronombre objeto. Pronombre sujeto hace la acción. Pronombre objeto recibe la acción del verbo. Entonces, tienen usos diferentes. Entonces miren acá. Yo no puedo decir he loves they. Sino que yo digo he loves them. Porque gramaticalmente tenemos que utilizar... Esas palabras para indicar un objeto. Um, el, el, la oración cambiaría un poquito, ¿qué diríamos? Um, a él eh, que le encantan las pupusas. A él le encantan las pupusas. He loves them. Entonces, ese them se está refiriendo a qué? Uh -huh. Le encantan. ¿El qué cosas? Ese them. Ahí les puse en español. ¿Qué significaba? A él le encantan las pupusas. Uh -huh. A él le encantan las pupusas. Ya identificamos que they es pronombre sujeto y them es pronombre objeto. Ellos o ellas. He loves them. Y a él le encantan que siempre ese them se viene refiriendo a las cosas. En este caso. Um, Cambiémosle acá. Para hacerlo más claro. A él le encantan. Vemos ahí el, el significado un poquito. Él ama a sus hijas. Él ama a sus hijas. He loves them. ¿A quién ama? Sus hijas. Entonces, ese them puede representar um, a ellos o a ellas. He loves them. Y les mencionaba lo del can porque usualmente cuando hay pronombres, objetos, también se tienden a solamente pronunciar la, las terminaciones. Miren, es bien diferente si yo les digo he loves them, está completo el sonido, a que cuando yo digo he loves them, he loves them, he loves them, he loves them, solamente dice el M. Entonces, mm. con esos eh, objetos usualmente, solamente dicen el L. ¿Qué? La última, el último sonido, M, M, he loves them, he loves them, he loves them. Entonces, uh, nada más. Le voy a poner porque creo que esto no, no es parte de, de la... No es parte de, de, de los temas que vienen ahí en el básico 1. No sé en qué, creo que no sé, no los he visto que vengan en, en alguna parte. Pero se lo voy a poner, que ya ahí entramos ahí. Entonces tenemos sujeto, ya saben que hacen la acción del verbo. Y recuerden los possessive adjectives. ¿Cuáles eran? My. Uh, my. My. Your. Your. Okay. His. His. Excelente. Her. Her. It. 
it, okay, are, our, uh -huh, and, or their, their. Uh -huh. so it's their, 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 uh -huh, their, their, their. Ahora, eh, hay una lista de pronombres, entonces todos se van derivando del sujeto, pero todos tienen una función diferente. Entonces eso es lo que quiero que ustedes eh, tengan claro. Ahora, también tenemos los object pronouns. Object pronouns. Y veamos cuáles son. El pronombre objeto para, para I. Siempre lo voy comparando me. con el sujeto. Me. Para you. 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 No lo voy comparando con este cuadro. Lo voy comparando con este. Para he. Um, him. Him. Para ella. Her. Her. Para it. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Es el it. Para we. Us, y Us. para, y el que hemos visto ahí, el them. ejemplo, them. Entonces, voy a poner un ejemplo de cada uno de ellos para que ustedes tengan alguna idea. Empezamos con el uno. Eh, ocupemos el, ¿cuál quieren ocupar de esos? Are you, he, she, it, we, or they? They. They, vaya. Empezamos como sujeto. They love, ¿qué? Okay. Porque a ver, they like, um, let's say, I don't know, something. They like soccer. Okay. Entonces, miren, empezamos con el uno, que es sujeto, they. They like soccer. Vamos con el dos. El segundo sería um, possessive adjective. Yeah, they, they. Okay. A ellos les gusta su equipo de fútbol. ¿Por qué utilicé there? Porque recuerden que lo voy relacionando con el sujeto. They, there. A ellos les gusta su equipo de fútbol. El tercero, como object pronoun, la estructura que usualmente seguimos con una oración es sujeto, verbo, objeto. Pero no siempre, ¿verdad? Ahí depende si es lo que queremos. Pero esa es la estructura. Entonces, en el tercero sería, uh, si yo lo comparo con la primera, they like soccer, ahí tenemos la estructura, sujeto, verbo y objeto. ¿Qué le gusta? El fútbol. They like, ¿y qué, qué pronombre objeto podría utilizar para representar fútbol? Podría utilizar me, podría utilizar you, podría utilizar him, here, it, us, o them. Nada más para tenerlo claro, lo voy a poner en español. A mí, a ti, a él, a ella, a it, para referirnos a cosas, ok, cosas, o, o una cosa, singular, Ajá, sí, sería una cosa singular. Um, a nosotros y a ellos. Entonces, they like soccer. A ellos les gusta el fútbol. They like. ¿Cuál ubicarían? Podría ser you. En ese caso, recuerden que lo que quiero reemplazar es el soccer. Uh -huh. Es una, un deporte, algo, ¿verdad? No es una persona, no es él, no es ella. Ajá, entonces lo puedo representar con él. It. Ajá, entonces, they like it. A ellos les gusta el que este it se está refiriendo al soccer. Otro ejemplo. Ay... Miren, es algo tan, tan simple. Dice, I love you. Te amo. ¿A quién? A. A ti. A usted. A ustedes. 
Entonces, esos object pronouns se refieren a eso. Pero volviendo a lo mismo de la pronunciación, que usualmente en esto, el him o el her, usualmente en la pronunciación a veces solo, solo se escucha eso. O a veces en escritura solo lo ponen así. Him, em, el her, er, el, uh, el em, igual que el L, este, y a ellos. I love em, I love them, I love them. Aquí. I love, I love them. Sí, I love them. O sea, ahí no están diciendo el them abiertamente, pero sí es parte de, es parte de cómo lo pueden escuchar a veces la pronunciación. Okay. Preguntas de los objetos jóvenes. <ríe> Preguntas de los pronombres o object pronouns. Y ahí nos saltamos, ya salimos del vocal, pero dígame si hay alguna pregunta. It's all clear. It's all clear, ok. <laughs> no, son bromas. Está, no sé, prestarle un poco más de atención porque realmente se confunde un poco. Ajá, sí, nada más recuerden que... Cuando la... emplearlos. Mm. No, sí, sí, eso es cierto. Bueno, estos están claros, estos también, recuerden que los posesivos ayeti solamente son para indicar posición. My jacket, your uh, boss, mi chaqueta, tu jefe, su cepillo, el quién, de, de él, ¿verdad? Su lápiz, de ella, it's a toy, el juguete del Firulais. Our, ¿qué? Our dad, nuestro padre, their friends, sus amigos, ¿de quién? De ellos. Entonces siempre lo van relacionando con el subject para tenerlo un poquito más claro. Lo, lo, se lo voy a dejar aquí en español. Me, yo creo que le va a servir mucho. Eh, mi, ok. Tu o su. His, uh, de él. De ella. No, 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 la canción. It's para cosas, nuevamente, para cosas. Uh -huh. uh, cosas, lugares, ahí recuerden que puede ser cosas, lugares, animales. Or, eh, que nuestro, ok. Y sus, de ellos. De ellos o ellas. Se lo pueden tomar ahí una captura. Vaya, vamos a ver. Le voy a poner una prueba de los objetos pronos. Me gustan los chocolates. ¿Cómo me pondría en esa oración? También el chocolate por un pronoun. I like chocolates. ¿Por cuál pronombre, uh, object pronoun, cambiarían chocolates? Ajá. Uh -huh. I like them. I like them. Okay. I like them. I like them. Okay. I need coffee. ¿Eh? Necesito café. También el coffee. I need it. I need it. Okay. Necesito. Okay. Parece que era minúscula. Ya vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. ¿Y esa cómo la harían? <laughs> I like me. No. Uh, somebody no. else. Uh -huh. No, la reacción no cae sobre usted. Cae sobre alguien más. You like me. I like. ¿Quién? 
Me gustas. I like you. you. Mm -hmm. I, I like, like you. Si usted le pone me, I like me. <laughs> I like okay. you. Ok. Entonces, eso es un poquito de los object pronouns. ¿Saben que La estructura es sujeto, verbo, objeto. Sobre quién recae la acción del verbo gustar. Que me gustan los chocolates. I like them. ¿Qué necesito? Café. So, what do I need? Coffee. I need it. I need it. Um, I like you. That's clear, right? Ok, bien. Sigamos aquí entonces con la conversación porque ya nos perdimos. Seguimos por otra vez. Le tomaron captura, ¿verdad? Yes. Igual, sí. sí, igual, les puedo mandar más ejercicios de eso para que puedan repasarle Ana que lo van a hacer más fácil porque ya tienen las definiciones. Ok, let's see. Vamos por acá. What about your studies? How will you manage your time? ¿Cómo administrarías o manejarías tu tiempo? How will you manage your time? ¿Qué hay de tus estudios? What about your studies? Well, I don't know yet. Bueno, aún no lo sé. Oops. oops. Well, I don't know yet. Uh, I might consider... I might consider, que pueda que considere, taking fewer courses, fewer, fewer, fewer. Fewer significa pocos. I might consider taking fewer courses next semester. I wouldn't do that if I were you. No haría eso si fuera tú. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Si yo fuera tú, acá, eso. Si yo fuera tú, no lo haría. Eso es lo que dice acá. You should make your studies the first priority. Tú deberías hacer tus estudios tu primera prioridad. So what if your parents, if your parents know about it? ¿Qué, qué hay si tus padres, o oh, qué tal si tus papás se enteran, ok? Know about it. Mm, you're right. Estás en lo correcto. Gracias por tu consejo. Thanks for your advice. Miren, tu verdad de posesión. Tu consejo, your advice. Uh, Lucy, I got to go. I have got to go. Este es el verbo eh, tener. I have got to go. I got to go. Es I've, I've, I gotta go. I gotta go. So I got to go. So I gotta go. I gotta go. Es como lo decimos, I gotta go. Now, see you later. See you, Bob. Entonces lo hacemos una vez más. Y vamos a ver, Carlos, me ayudas ahí con eh, Bob. Ok. Ok. Hi, Bob. How's it going? Fine, thanks. And you? Just fine. What are you off to? To the library. library. I have to finish library. I have to finish the uh, segment assignment for tomorrow assignment. class. Uh -huh. For tomorrow's assignment class. for tomorrow's class. Why don't you do it at home? Why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job in the evening, so when I get home, I be too tired to do an assignment. To do an assignment, an assignment, an assignment, an okay. assignment. To do an, an assignment. Aha, uh -huh. so podemos unir aquí. Todos an assignment. Los... An assignment, okay. Where do you work? Okay. Work in a coffee. I work in a cafe. I work in a cafe, okay. Cafe, aha, uh -huh. that's cafe. I work in a cafe. Cafe. Why do you like that job? It's interesting. I really enjoy working. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. How is the pay? The pay is all right. I get seven euro an hour. I would like to earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a small a smartphone. Okay, and how will you do that? How would you do that? I'll try to pick up a many extra shift and I can. As I can. As I can. 
What Pass about your head. studies? How will you manage your time? Manage your time. Well, I don't know yet. I meet consider. Okay, might, 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 might. might. I might consider. Okay. I might consider. Might consider taking, taking fever course. Taking, 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 taking fever course next semester. I wouldn't that I wouldn't do that if I were you. You should manage. Uh, you should make your studies the first priority. What if your parents know about it? Oh, you're right. Thanks for advice, Lucy. I have, I I got, I got. To, I gotta go. I gotta go now. I gotta, I gotta go now. See you later. See you, Bob. Okay, so let's see. Let's check some uh, questions. What are you off to? 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 Entonces, cuando tienen una double edge question, acá se pronuncia más suave al final. Entonces, sería algo acá. Okay, más bajito. So, what are you off to? El stress. Hay un falling intonation. La entonación es más baja. What are you off to? When some double edge questions. To the library, library. I have to finish the assignment, the assignment, listen, assignment for tomorrow's class. Tomorrow's class, tomorrow's class. Why don't you do it at home? 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 So why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job in the evening. So when I get home, I'll be too tired. I'll, I'll. So this is I'll, I'll. I'll be too tired, tired. This is tired, tired to do an assignment. Where do you work? I work in a cafe. Why do you like the job? It's interesting. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. How is the pay? That pays all right. I get seven euros, euros, euros an hour. I would like to earn more as I need a lot of money. A lot of money. Podemos unir estos sonidos. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of. Listen. I would like, I would like, would, would. This is would like. I would like to earn, earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. And how will you do that? And how will you do that? How will you do that? I'll try, listen, I'll try, I'll, I'll try to pick up as many extra shifts as I can. What about your studies? How will you manage your time? Well, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Listen, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I might consider taking fewer courses. Fewer, fewer. Listen, fewer. Entonces, pueda que considere tomar menos cursos el próximo semestre. Semestre. I might, might consider taking fewer courses next semester. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You should. Tú deberías, you should, make your studies the first priority. What if your parents know about it? Uh, you're right. Thanks for your advice. I gotta go now. I got to go now. Or I gotta go now. I gotta go now. See you later. See you, Bob. O sea, esto usualmente va todo contraído. I gotta go. I gotta go. Me tengo que I have to go. Okay, I'll probably say, I have to go. I have got to go. All right, I have to go. See you later. See you, Bob. Okay, entonces vamos a hacer la práctica en la sala. So we're going to have five minutes. Vamos a tener cinco minutos. Solo voy a poner con una persona a practicar. Okay, so take a, a screenshot. Tómale ahí una captura.